I'm Mark O'Connell. I work at the Agricultural Research Division. I'm standing in, in a field orchard called the Stonefield Field Laboratory at Tatura. We, uh, we have a rootstock experiment here, one on peach and one on nectarine. This is the Rose Bright nectarine ex field experiment. We're in the second year of trying to establish these trees. We've, we didn't have much success in budding these trees last summer, so we've re, re budded them this year. And in future years, we'll set up different crop load ex uh, on each tree and look at five different rootstocks. Yeah, so this field experiment is on Rose Bright nectarine, early season nectarine. We, um, we have five different rootstocks here. We have Crimps 1, Crimps 86, Cornerstone, Nemegard and Cadamon. The uh, trees will be trained as a four litre vase. They're two metre tree spacing, four and a half metre row spacing. And um, we'll set up different crop loads, different fruit number per tree in year three, leaf, third leaf onwards. Um, we'll have low, medium and high crop loads and we'll look at that, uh, the distribution of sugars, so bricks, high bricks content, and, and we, we'd argue that the low crop load uh, treatment will, um, and the interactions with rootstock will um, help us understand uh, the way the tree partitions, its, it intercepts light and partitions those resources into the fruit to make high quality fruit. Mm -hmm.